view gallery 11 photos former President Obama actually has two Grammy Awards. He earned both in the spoken word category of the awards once in 2006 for the audiobook version of his book. Dreams from My Father and again in 2008 for the audiobook version of his biography, The Audacity of Hope. Former President Jimmy Carter is no stranger to the Grammy Awards. His name has appeared among the spoken word category nominees three times, two of which resulted in him taking home the hardware. Carter won in 2007 for the audiobook version of Our Endangered Values America's Moral Crisis and again in 2016 for the audiobook version of his biography A Full Life Reflections at 19. In 2015 he was nominated in the same category for the audiobook version of A Call to Action Women, Religion, Violence and Power, but lost to Diary of a Mad Diva by Joan Rivers. Although the senator's name is in the news recently for sexual harassment allegations, at his blatant refusal to leave office, the one-time comedian is the proud owner of two Grammy Awards. He won in 2004 in the spoken word category for the audiobook version of Lies and the Lying Liars who tell the Mayfair and Balanced Look at the right, but took home the Grammy for Best Spoken Comedy Album in 1997 for Rush Limbaugh is a big fat idiot and other observations. Former President Bill Clinton has been nominated for the spoken word category of the Grammy Awards on three separate occasions. He took home the award two of the three years. In 2004 and 2005, he won back to back Grammy Awards. In 2004, this was from the spoken word album for children for his performance of the Wolf Tracks section of Wolf Tracks and Peter and the Wolf. In 2005, it was the audiobook version of his autobiography My Life that took home the medal. The award eluded him recently in 2013 when his audiobook Back to Work Why We Need Smart Government for a Strong Economy lost to Janice and Society's Child. Although he doubled UASNT a politician when he took home the award, former Congressman Jesse Jackson won the 1989 Grammy Award for Spoken Word for a speech he gave as a reverend. He beat out Garrison Keillor and John Cleese, among others, that year. Former First Lady, Senator and Secretary of State Hillary Clinton beat her husband to taking home this Grammy. She swept the spoken word category of the 1997 Grammy Awards with the audiobook version of It Takes a Village. The eighth and final leader of the Soviet Union, Mikhail Gorbachev, actually earned his Grammy at the same time as former President Bill Clinton. The two, along with well-known actress Sophia Loren, earned the award in spoken word album for children for their joint performance of Wolf Tracks and Peter and the Wolf in 2004. Everett Erickson served in the U.S. House of Representatives as well as the Senate. In fact, he was also the Senate Minority Leader from 1959 to 1969. But you can add to this politician's credentials Grammy Award winner, since he took home the coveted award in the spoken word category in 1968 for gallant men stories of American adventure, just one year before he died. This one comes with a disclaimer. The audiobook version of his book An Inconvenient Truth did, in fact, take home the Grammy in 2009 in the spoken word category, but he doubled UASNT the performer. Rather, Bo Bridges, Cynthia Nixon and Blair Underwood were honored for how they brought the former vice president's words to life in the tape. The much maligned by Trump senator from Massachusetts tweeted that she was tickled to be nominated for a Grammy Award in 2015 alongside Jimmy Carter for the audiobook version of A Fighting Chance. Both she and Carter lost to Joan Rivers. As with Al Gore, a former First Lady Michelle Obama was only sort of a Grammy Award nominee. Her book, American Grown, did indeed make the list, but she was not one of the vocal performers. On the audiobook version on it with her nod in the spoken word category of the 2013 Grammys, the entertainment industry is feeling the burn. Well, maybe. Bernie Sanders has a serious chance at taking home some hardware in an upcoming award ceremony that you probably associate with rock and pop stars. The septuagenarian politician who collected a passionate following throughout the 2016 presidential primaries has earned a Grammy nomination. Unbeknownst to many, even among those who were hoping to see him in the Oval Office, Sanders recorded 
an audiobook version of Our Revolutionary Future to Believe in, which also featured actor Mark Ruffalo. The book, which was published right after the presidential election, has earned Sanders a nomination in the spoken word category of the Grammys. Not going to speculate as to whether Bernie's going to take home the Grammy, though. He and Ruffalo face some stiff competition in the category. They're up against Neil deGrasse Tyson for Astrophysics for People in a Hurry, Carrie Fisher for The Princess Diarist, Shelley Pierkin for Confessions of A. Serial songwriter and Bruce Springsteen for Born to Run. But Bernie is far from the first politician to gain recognition at this awards show. The Grammy Awards have nominated politicians in the past, many of whom you probably never knew made the list. Nine politicians have taken home hardware from the awards ceremony. The politicians honored by the awards haven't even all been American, although a vast majority are from the United States. And we'll give you one guest and name the political couple. That boasts a Grammy Award for each of the two. Have more than one couple in mind. You'll just have to check out the slides to see which one has, compared to other political duos, swept the Grammys. You'll have to wait until January to find out whether or not the Grammys were really feeling the burn. The 60th Annual Grammy Awards Ceremony will be broadcast live by the CBS Network from New York's Madison Square Garden on January 28, 2018. For now, click through the gallery above to see all the politicians who have won or have been nominated for Grammy Awards. Politicians Grammy Awards Bernie Sanders consider all soft other articles.